Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's talk about Stormy Steele and how she just encountered a big loss in court. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and let's get into it. So if you know on this channel, we've covered um, some of the alleged lawsuits that Stormy has been involved in. Now, Stormy is in yet another court case um she it was a complaint with the ups supply chain so the complaint was about unpaid invoices um that amounted to about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, um with a six percent interest rate on that outstanding balance so basically um stormy failed to respond to the action filed by ups and so of course the court um made a default judgment in the sum of one hundred and eighty thousand plus dollars the court also ordered um court fees and also like interest as well and shout out to trending at some point for covering this so i'm not going to go into too much detail in relation to it you guys can go over to her channel and watch it for yourself but what i want to talk about is the fact that it almost feels like there is some sort of controversy surrounding a lot of the people on the show and in relation to the way they do business now granted stormy has a big business right so she is so of course it is not shocking that there may be some lawsuits here and there right like it's a huge business there is potential for that to happen my concern is it almost feels like there are a lot of lawsuits coming up in relation to people on the show Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I just wonder, like, is it because they're not finding the right people who have best, better business practices? Like, what is it? It just feels like lawsuits are surrounding a lot of the people on the show. And I just don't like that. I would like to see some people who have generally cleaner records. In the way in which they do business right now I'm not saying that can't happen to anyone but i just would love to see i'm not even like selectively talking about just stormy now i'm talking about the scots i feel like we would love to see people on the show who are doing really well in business who have maybe yes encountered some lawsuits in the past but have overcome it and then talking about how their business practices have transformed since those times right but I just don't like the idea of people going from lawsuit to lawsuit to lawsuit. Even if I don't particularly see it for Stormy, that doesn't mean that I am jumping for joy at the idea of her going from lawsuit to lawsuit to lawsuit. Now, of course, I would love for everything to be peaceful on this end and all, all together. But I just wish the the show would actually get more people who are actually thriving in business, who have more of a cleaner record in my opinion but yeah um even if even if they're going to keep some of these people on the show had include more people who have better and cleaner records because i just feel like i feel like it would be a good mix to have people who are thriving in business no lawsuits and things are going well for them you know and just to balance the show because it just seems like a lot of the people that are doing business are doing questionable business in my opinion and that's all i have for you guys today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let's talk about it and make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys later bye